as in many other Christian churches, when Community of Christ congregations gather, we routinely include in our worship the practice of making an offering. In our tradition, we've come to call it the disciples' generous response. But we can become dulled to oft-repeated phrases. So let's reflect for a moment on what we are really about to do. I say really because there is more going on in this practice than we might assume. We're tempted to treat the offering superficially, as if this practice were merely a kind of business transaction. We need X to pay for Y. We give A to get B. Somehow we've got to keep the lights on, the water running, and the trash collected. No doubt. But as in so much of human experience, there is a more here, a depth that deserves and demands our focused attention. Otherwise, we'll just skip off the surface of what we're about to do. Or worse, misinterpret the offering with the logic of the marketplace, which is not gospel logic. Late in the first century, a protege of the Apostle Paul wrote in the name of his master a text that came to be called the letter to the Ephesians. Listen to these words of which I'm sure Paul would have approved. Therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children and live in love as Christ loved us. That's from Ephesians 5, verse 1 and 2a. We are called to imitate God. This seems a tall order, unreachable really, but the author doesn't think so. The word used here in the Greek text is mimetes. We get our English word mimic from it. So Ephesians 5 is inviting us to mimic God. But in what sense? The whole of Ephesians celebrates that God's very nature is to be extravagant, even lavish. In Christ, God has poured out on the world the full riches of divine love. God didn't hold back, but God gave. It's who God is. And we, who by grace follow Christ, and in whom Christ dwells by the Holy Spirit, get to learn how to mimic God's liberality with the whole substance of our lives. We miss the point if we think the offering is about paying bills. The offering the disciples' generous response and the practice of sharing generously is finally and ultimately about God. There's an ancient principle of the Christian spiritual life that we become like what we worship. What this practice of the offering encourages us to imitate is God's own character as lovingly, lavishly generous. As we prepare to make our offerings today, may our hearts be grateful for what we've received. This act of sharing is one way we may open ourselves to reflecting the boundless love of the one who has embraced us and will not let us go. Beloved friends, let us keep learning to mimic God.